To write the formula for silver oxalate, the first thing we'll do is write the element symbol for silver. That's just AG. Next, we'll write the formula for the oxalate polyatomic ion. So we know it's a polyatomic ion. It has ATE at the end here. So you either memorize that the oxalate ion is C2O4, and the whole thing has an ionic charge of 2 minus, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So silver is a transition metal, and this oxalate is a group of nonmetals. So we need to think about the charge when we write the name. Silver is almost always 1 plus, and the whole oxalate ion here is 2 minus. So we're going to need 2 of these silver ions to balance the charge here. That's because silver oxalate is a neutral compound. It doesn't say ion after it. And these charges, they need to add up to 0. 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus. That'll balance out the 2 minus, give us a net charge of 0. So this is the formula for silver oxalate, Ag2C2O4. And this C2O4 here, that's the oxalate ion. If you're given the formula and asked to write the name, sometimes you'll see people write this as silver 1 oxalate. That's because silver is a transition metal. But since it's almost always 1 plus, oftentimes we won't write this Roman numeral 1 here. This is Dr. B with the formula for silver oxalate, AG2C2O4. Thanks for watching.